Hi, little bookworms. How are you guys? Today I have an awesome, awesome, awesome book. It is called If Kids Ran the World. Look at all these kids. This is going to be a great book. All right, and the author, um, the library sticker's covering it, so let's take a peek inside and see who wrote this book. Okay, there it is. Leo and Diane Dillon. So big thank you to Leo and Diane for this amazing book. Let's give them a round of applause, shall we? I'm holding the camera so I can't clap, so I need you guys to clap really, really loud. Big thank you. All right, let's get started. First, I'm going to show you the our mystery guest. It is a ball. It's planet Earth. Whoops, I just dropped it. It's planet Earth. Okay, so what am I doing reading with planet Earth? Well, if you see, if you remember, the cover of the book has planet Earth on it. And there's kids holding it. So, look at my planet Earth. It's got a hole in the back of it. And inside are, let's pull them out. Oh, kids! Alright, so there's my first kid. I'll put him down there. And let me pull out another one. Let's see. Oh, here's another little kid. So let's put her down there. And all the kids look different, right? Because we're all, we're all different. Different color hair, different color skin, different sizes. Oh, look, twins! We got twins. All right, let's see who else there is. Little boy. All right, is that it? I think my I think my earth is empty now. Let's look. Yep, it's empty. All right, so all these children around the world are going to come read with us and find out what would happen if kids ran the world. If kids ran the world, we would make it a kinder, better place. Look at all that gardening they're doing. Do you guys like to garden and plant? It's so relaxing and fun. I love gardening. Look at those gorgeous sunflowers and the butterflies. Whoa, look at this. Maybe we'd run the world in a big tree house and everybody would be welcome. We'd take care of the most important things. Oh, that is awesome. I love a tree house. All right, we know people are hungry, so all over the world, everyone would have enough to eat. The food would taste delicious, and it would make people healthy and strong. Kids who had extra food would help bring it to people who needed food. Look at that, everybody's working so hard. Look at all that healthy food, fruits and vegetables. Wow, look at that big piece of corn this little girl has. And pancakes, look at that stack of pancakes. And the fruit bowl, everyone's doing their part. Everyone would have a safe place to live. Bad housing would be fixed and new housing wouldn't ruin the land or the sea. So the kids would be responsible. Use responsible resources. No matter how sick people were, they would have the medicine that they needed. And if you were lonely in a hospital, kids would come visit you and let you play with pets. Oh, look, look how happy the little boy is to get a visit from the dog. Somebody friendly would help you with a big smile. See the nurse? Oh, and look over here. Look, another doggy came in to cheer someone up. I think animals always make people smile. I think that's a good idea. Everyone would laugh a lot more. Kids would have more picnics and games and funny books and movies. People would spend more time playing and less time worrying. No bullying would be allowed. You could climb trees or dress up and dance and sing just for fun. Kids could act very silly. 
I think this sounds like a great idea. All children would go to good schools where every teacher was nice and had lots of books, music, and art. Classes would be fun and exciting. Schools would serve yummy meals and have great sports and big playgrounds. Kids would love school. What's going on here? People could wear any kind of clothes and nobody would tease them. Children would all live with people who loved them. So you could do whatever you wanted and nobody would, everybody would just get along. Look. More forests would be planted and protected. All the beaches, pools, and parks would belong to everyone. Look at the, there's the beaches. There would be no clubs or places that kept some people out. Friendship, kindness, and generosity would be worth more than money. What's going on here? Oh, look at the cloud. Oh, I like that. The cloud's blowing on the tree. See that? All right, let's see what's going on here. People would take care of the planet and the animals and the plants. Oh, see, they're, they're taking the trash out of the ocean to help pr protect the dolphins. Nobody would throw trash on the ground or in the ocean or make the air dirty. Look, they're doing their part. They're cleaning up. Oh, look at her. She's hugging a tree over here. People would have religious freedom, and nobody would punish them or call them names. Everyone would learn the happiness of being thankful. Even if they were busy, people would remember to stop to see the beauty of a sunset or a rainbow. All over the world, people would feel safe with one another. Look at that. Even the sunshine is smiling. Do you see the sun smile? Even she's happy. People would live in peace together. No more hate. Everybody would learn how to forgive. That's a very important thing, to learn how to forgive and move forward with a positive attitude. Let's see what's going on here. Looks like people are helping each other. If kids ran the world, would these things be possible? Yes, we think so. Because kids know that everyone can learn to share. Kids know how to try to do their very best. Oh, look at that. And kids know that the most important thing in the world isn't money or being king or queen or pushing other people around. It's love. Giving it, sharing it, and showing it. Look at all that. That is the truth. So love. It's important to give love, to share love, and to show love. And that's definitely what these kids are doing here. I am loving this book. And that's why if kids ran the world, we'd make it a wonderful place for everyone to live. Grown-ups, too. Look at this. Free speech, free to believe. Everyone's doing their own thing, right? That was a great book. Did you guys like that book? Free from fear, that's what the bird sign says. What would you do if kids ran the world? What would be important to you? What would be something that you would you would do? Mm, that was a great book. I hope you guys liked it. And now let's see. 
What are our little kids up to? <gasps> I think they like the book. What do you think? Should we put them back home in their globe? And not in their globe, in their little earth? All right, let's pop them back in. Ready? Let's see, who wants to go first? Uh, we'll do, should we do the twins? Let's do the twins. Do, 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 do. Whee! Oh, she got stuck on the Velcro. All right, next twin. Do, 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 do. Whee! Oh, I think one of them is stuck. Let me try to fix that. Okay, got her in. All right, next up, this little guy. Boing, 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 whoosh. Oh, he jumped in. He slam dunked himself in. All right, what should the little girl do? Maybe she's gonna ice skate her way in. Ready? Whoosh. Boing. And now this boy, what should he do? Should he do some flips? Look. Whoosh. Boop. All right, let's seal it up. Done. All right. There goes our little earth. Well, thank you guys so, so, so much for reading this book. This was one of my favorite books. I loved it. And I would love to live in a world that kids ran because I think kids would do the best job. All right. Come back and read soon. Bye, guys.